Welcome or welcome back on C Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about solving system of inequality. And here we have two linear inequality, how we call them. Uh, you will see we're going to have only lines. And uh, let's go and start with number 11, which says y. y less or equals to x plus 2. So how we solve, by the way, this system of inequality? By graphing. There is no really an algebraic method, but a graphical method. So here I'm going to graph this line, which has this plus 2. If you remember, that is the y-intercept. And then a slope of 2. So that means I'm going to go 2 up, 1 right. And you can do multiple points if you want, do just to get the pattern. You see two up, one right, or two down, one left, and you can get a line. Now, be careful, this sign here, less or equal, tells us is a full line. And now we have to do one more thing. We have to regret this uh, line, which represents the equality. We need to shade the top of the line or the bottom. And whenever you have this y form, whenever you have less than, shade the bottom. Whenever you have greater than, shade the top. So in this case, this is the solution set for the first inequality. In other words, any point in that shaded area will verify the first inequality. But now let's go to the second one. The second one says y less than negative x plus 1. Okay. The same story, I'm looking here and I see this one. That is the y-intercept. And then I see this negative x, which tells us about an invisible negative 1. So the, from that uh, uh, blue point, I'm going to go 1 down, 1 over to the right. And as you see, again, you can do multiple points so you can get a, a better pattern and draw a line. Now, be careful. This guy here should tells you that you have to draw a dash line. And the other one, remember, it was a full line. So let's see if I can do that on the screen. Okay, something like that. And again, we notice this less than, so again, we're going to go on the bottom and shade it. And uh, the one more thing left, look to the picture and understand which of the region is the re region that shows you the solution set. In fact, if you notice, we have four region. Okay, most of the time when you go graph inequality like this, you're going to have four uh, regions if the line intersect. Um, one of them is the solution chain. Which one? The one where the shading overlaps. Um, if you have color pencil, then you it's easy to see in my case with where the uh, red shading and the blue shading overlap and I went on top of that green marker. Uh, go ahead and try number 12. Pause the video clip.
if you end up with a picture like the one on the left yes uh, you did a wonderful job uh, be very interesting this is a case where this uh, system of inequality has no solution if you remember that is the empty set there is no uh, region where the blue shading and the red shading overlap uh, so therefore is no solution this is kind of a special case most of the time you're gonna get a solution and now let's go to the last part of this video clip which is uh, still solving system of inequality but now you can see we do not have linear equation we have or linear inequality we have one involving absolute value so let's see how we do this y greater than 4 that is the first inequality given to us that means graph the y equals 4 be sure is a dash line because there is no equal for the uh, inequality Okay, and again, y greater than 4 means shade the region for which the, the point have an y coordinate greater than 4. This is the region for which every single point uh, has an y coordinate that is greater than 4. y less than absolute value of x minus 1 so we're going to graph the equality y equals absolute value of x minus 1 be sure it's going to be a dashed v why do i say a v because if you remember the absolute value gives you a v shape where is that v shape uh, how are we going to find that look again to x minus 1 we did that in a previous video clip that means one to the right And yeah, it should be a dash line, mine is not a dash V, mine doesn't look really dashed. Uh, and again, we need to find the solution set. In this case, I will suggest you to uh, use a testing point. What do I mean by that? If you do not remember, 0 and 0 is a good testing point most of the time, unless uh, it's on the uh, equality on, on the graph itself. So if we plug 0, we get 0 less than absolute value of 0 minus 1 0 less than 1 0 minus 1 is negative 1 and absolute value of negative 1 is 1 and that is a true statement 0 yes is 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 less than 1 and 0 is located let me call it like that outside of the v so now we're going to shade that outside the area since the statement is true Now let's take a look if we have any region or regions. Uh, be careful here where the uh, shading overlaps. And we do have we do have those two regions. Uh, that is the solution set of this uh, non-linear inequality. Let me be sure I emphasize this because we have a nonlinear inequality there, y less than x minus 1. Go ahead and try number 14.
Okay, this is number 14, very interesting uh, solution set for this one. You see that uh, green area where uh, the red and the blue overlap, that is the green area. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more mad video clip. Thank you.